Hello and Guru Scott. Well, I just received a brand new box from UPS from Turntable Labs and inside should be a brand new turntable. So let's open it up and see what's inside. Okay, after a 10 minute struggle, I finally got these items out of the big box. The big box is chock full of popcorn. Stuff's a mess, got it everywhere. So I got my invoice that says I have one MMF-2.TTL supposed to be in slate gray. And this has the Haube, which is German for hat or hood, but they call it a dust cover for 2.1. And it comes with this uh, cleaning brush and obviously a turntable mat. I have a nice leather mat I can put on mine. I just got from Jake's turntable mats. So I'm going to open this box and let's see what's in it next. Okay, I'm ready to start doing the assembly work. It even comes with instructions in German for the Plattenspieler. Well, I guess that must mean the uh, Platten player. So the first thing it says to do is take out these two screws marked that are marked red. And then it comes a little tool here that you can use to move the belt up and down on the pulleys. Top being 33 and a third, bottom being 45. So you put the belt on and you stretch it over here and then that's basically ready. You put the platter on, or um, the Plattenspielen, and then we're going to set up the weights and the arms. So we'll get all this put together and then we'll come right back. All right, so at this point, what I had to do was I had to install the third leg. To do that, all you gotta do is lift the turntable up, put it on its side, but not completely. Screw the leg down. And then if you have a spirit level, you're gonna level the turntable and I will do that later um, using a level, bullseye level we call them. And then hidden inside the box, you'll find the counterweight that goes on the arm. So I'm gonna install that next. I'm gonna loosen this, get this um, set up for zero tracking force. Then I'll turn it to, I think it's 1.7 grams tracking force is what they prefer. I'll look in the manual to make sure. And you do that with the needle guard off, otherwise you won't get an accurate reading. And then we have an anti-skate weight that we're gonna put on here. It's um, in the package, so you make sure that you don't lose it. And we will install that here, and that's, um, I'll show you that when I get to it. Okay, with the stylus guard off, which kind of just pulls down, but you wanna make sure you don't pull the needle out. And with this out of the rest, you're going to set it here and you're going to adjust the counterweight until it just floats. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see that, but I've got it pretty much so it just floats. And then we're going to put it back in there and we're going to set it to 1.75 grams, which a 10 on this is a 1 gram. So 1. And then that's one and a half, it says 15, and 175 is between 15 and 20. Next, I'm gonna put the anti-skate weight on. I believe it goes into the center position back here, but I'm gonna read the instructions just to make sure. I'll come back and let you know. Okay, I was right, the anti-skate weight goes into the center. It says notch number two, well, two from that side is in the center, and two from this side is in the center. And then you bring it over and hang the weight down. The only problem is it tends to pop off easily. Hopefully it won't after I've used it for a while. So now I'm ready to put on the cover and then we're gonna plug it in and check it out. Okay, I've got the turntable set up and leveled. I have it turned on right now, but I don't have the needle dropped. I have an original master recording on there. I'm not gonna play any of the music because I don't have copyright, but I will play the lead-in groove and we can see how it's, or we can listen to how it sounds. Now, I did notice one thing already, the rumble between it and my previous turntable, which was a Kenwood belt drive. This turntable has really no rumble that I can hear. So here we go. Oh, 
Okay, so as you can hear, just the pops and statics from the record, and I might be able to actually correct that by cleaning it with a carbon brush. So um, that's all there is to this video. Thanks for watching. Tschüss.